Leo, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 15th of September. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle cards. So starting off with your overall energy, you've got card 21, the world. This is celebrating a job well done. It's the completion of one project, but also it's the start of the next one, advancement and success. Your help or your hurdle, we've got card 20, the one exactly before that in the deck. And this is the card of reflection. And it's asking you to do just that, reflect and assess how far you've come, how well you're doing, but just as importantly, where to next? What do you need to focus on? Having a rest, putting your feet up, reading a book, having a cup of tea, better still having a pot of tea. So a time for rest and reflection, an assessment as to exactly where you are, because it's the end of something and a reason to celebrate. And you just need that time to decide where you want to go to next because the very next card how can you help yourself is the dreamer it is literally where to next here she is look opening the doors of opportunity she could stand behind those forevermore and not go anywhere but she's choosing to open them see what's on the other side step out of a comfort zone so these two cards are lovely we've got the first and the last of the major arcana cards this is an exciting new start and you taking that leap of faith. Pulling it all together, the King of Coins steps in. This is beautiful energy. It's strong energy. The kings are authority figures in the deck. And the King of Coins absolutely personifies confidence, success, opportunity. This card is sometimes known as the Midas Touch King because everything he does is successful because he knows how to be successful. Very much in the arena of home life, family life, career, work and finances. So this could be you stepping up into this leadership role, very much helping other people. Or it could be somebody coming in with a how-to plan to help you. And your outcome is lovely. The Seven of Pencils is a mindfulness card saying it's time for you now when you're making this new start to let go of the old ways, different ways of doing things, find something new. And it's now time to put much more of a focus on what you would like to do and where you would like to go. Very often it's easy to make decisions that we think will please somebody else. Or that we ought to do. And this little Seven of Pencils card comes in and says, hey, don't forget to put yourself at the front of the queue. So let's get a little bit more clarification. We've got the Six of Emotion. This says it's time for you to consider what you've always wanted to do. Remember the past with love. It might be something from the past that you didn't quite do before because it wasn't just the right time. And now the timing could be just right. The Eight of Emotion is about moving on and feeling good. Here we are, look, two angels here. They both have their backs to us because they're moving forward. And this card literally says, time to make that positive move forward to something good. The Two of Thought in what do you need to focus on? Making a decision. Trust that you know what to do. Get all your information together. It's the indecision that's holding you back and be ready to make a positive choice. How can you help yourself? I've literally just said the words positive choice. The seven of emotion is all about choices. Time to choose with care. Make good choices and decisions. And here we are, look. Our lovely angel. She can choose between a cactus or a sunflower. Choose the sunflower. So very much a week where you are deciding and making a conscious, mindful choice. 
In comes the clarity with the one of thought. This is the ace. It would be the ace of swords in traditional tarot. And this says, keep going through a learning phase. Look, she's learned with the first kick of the football on the card. Look, it's gone flying over the crossbar. But now she knows exactly what to do. She's worked it out. That light bulb moment comes on. So brilliant new ideas coming in. Clarity, new information to help you with these decisions. And your final outcome card is lovely. The Eight of Wisdom. This is the Justice card. This says do what you know is the right thing to do. Make your decisions based on honesty, integrity and fairness. And they will lead you forward. So looking at your cards overall, very much a card, a week of new beginnings. You moving in a new direction. Thinking it through carefully, taking your time. There's no rush with this. Definitely a week of assessment and really thinking it through. And then once you've made your decision, once this clarity comes in and you work it out, here you are doing what you've always wanted to do and enjoying the success and the new opportunity that comes with it. And here you are moving on and feeling good. So it's definitely a week of reflection, assessment, mindful choices. It's the end of something, but the start of an exciting new chapter. And once you make your choice, once you make your mindful choice with this lovely one of thought, this clarity that's coming in for you, here you are making your move. So I hope you have a lovely week. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. It's free to do all of those things and it truly does support my channel. So have a lovely week, Leo. Look after yourselves and I'll see you here again soon.